Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this session, we are going to see how to use Google Sort activities in your Path Studio. So basically, Google Sort activities are helpful to access the Google applications, such as Google Cloud, Google Drive, Gmail, Google Sheets, and the Google Calendar. And with the help of this G Suite activities, so we can directly access these application uh, interface. Uh, like uh, if you see the Gmail automation in my lectures, so there we have used some protocols. So with the help of uh, G Suite act activities, we don't need to mention this IMAP or the simple mail transfer protocols. So like this, we don't need to mention anything. So for starting about these G Suite activities and uh, how to use these applications and how to access the applications to your part. So for that, we need to download one package into our project. So just go to manage packages. So here go to the all packages and search for G Suite Activities project. So here you can observe you'll have a package called your path G Suite Activities. Just go to it and save it. So then we can see the G Suite activities in the activities panel. So let's search for the G Suite. So you can see a package here. So inside the integration, so we can see the list of activities and the applications so which G Suite is supporting in your path studio. So like app script, calendar, box, Google Drive, Gmail, and Sheets. So these all applications we can access from your path studio with the help of this G Suite activities. So for accessing all these applications, so this G Suite application scope is the mandatory activity. So just like we saw in email automation, we used Excel application scope. So where we place all the activities like uh, free range or right range or for each row or uh, right cell activities to write or uh, to alter or to modify the data in Excel or to create a new workbook or whatever. So we all used all the activities inside the Excel application scope. And in the same way, for accessing all these applications under the G Suite package, so we need to mention all the activities in G Suite application scope. So for, and along with that, we need to make the connection in the cloud website. So here, the search for cloud.google.com. So once you open this web page, just click on console. So now we can see the project information, the APIs, blog, platform status, all these kind of details. So if you are accessing for the first time, so you won't see any project. So so first click on the and create a new project. So just click on new project and provide any name. So first course example you can type your path. So name. So for example, yeah, just by project MS like this and click on create or this will create a new package so new project in Google Cloud platform so here you can see new project is under creation okay so so just I'm just changing it to the new project so for accessing all these activities first we need to to establish the connection, right? So for establishing the connection, so we need to get some API keys or OAuth keys from this cloud website. So for achieving that, first we need to enable the keys for all these applications. For example, so if you go to this browser, if you want to establish the connection between your your path and the Gmail, so just go there. In the cloud.google.com. So here you can see APIs and services. So go to the library. So inside the libraries, we can see all the applications which Google is providing. So, like uh, for G Suite, we have these different applications like Google Drive API, Google Calendar API, Gmail API, Google Sheets API. So, and in applications we can see under the G Suite. 
So for now, I'm just enabling this uh, Gmail API. Let's click on Enable. Now this will get enabled to my user under this project view apartment for which you connect. Yeah, you can also here that enable button got disabled and uh, you can see uh, the button is right now. So, you can want to use this uh, Gmail API. Okay. So, we need to create the credentials. For creating the credentials, just click on this credentials. So, now we will land in the credentials page. So, here we can observe. So, we have different ways to create the credentials. So this is for the particular Gmail API. Okay, so we can either create work client ID or service account, or another way is also available. So, for this code, copies, navigation menu, and go to API and services, click on this credentials. So, here we can observe so API keys or 2.0 client IDs and service accounts. So, we can create this so API key is the segmented and with the help of this API key so we can able to use it for the projects where we need to work on the Google Sheets or the, the calendar. So today we will uh, see with the help of this for client ID generation. Just click on this for client ID. So now that's the concept phase we get open. So click on configure concept screen and click on external and click on create so just provide any application name so as we are working with the UI bank this is and if you want to upload any logo you can update logo here with the import scroll button so I just click on this here button So once you call this screen, just again do the same process. So click on the navigation menu, API services, and click on credentials. So now again we got the credentials here once we get the configuration done. So again we need to click on this create credentials and click on board client ID. So here we can see the menu is detected and we have seen we have seen it before. Just click on the application type and we are working with the QA part, which is desktop application. Just click on the desktop app and on the create button. So now we will get the credentials, so like this. So you are client ID and your client secret. Okay, so with the help of this, we can create the connection between our QA part studio and the rest of the applications which are available in the studio. Okay, so I'm just click on OK. So I have created one sample project here. This is for sending an email to a particular user. So I'm just showing you. I will give you the details of the architecture. So here I have a senior suit application scope, and inside that we have a two activity, and inside that we have drag and drop sample users. This uh, and here we need to launch the two subject and body, which I have created like this. So, here if you observe in the three sub application scope, so here we need to provide what ID, so which we have generated now with the help of this sub application. It established the communication channel between the URL and the Google server. So, then it's easier for us to perform the all these applications. Okay. So in the coming classes we will see how we can operate these Gmail activities in your advanced studio. That's all for now. So please do subscribe and like our channel. Thank you.